Hello Mindfulness Project family! Um, it is Advent calendar time and I hope you can enjoy um, Christmas time. I hope you have a good time at home. Um, we definitely do. It's awesome right now. And the teaching for today is that Christmas is all about giving. It's all about um, you know, just making people happy, sharing what we have and thinking about um, how we can surprise people. Um, so, and the greatest gift you can give yourself is called self-love. And um, self-love is the key ingredient for a happy life, but most people are very far away. So that will be my gift to you today, to teach you a little bit about what self-love actually is and how we can move towards it and what actions we can take um, to get there. So, um, most of you know I was a musician. You know, for eight years of my life that was my um, profession and it was an amazing time. It was the first time in my life where I really felt good with myself. I just really loved what I was doing. I was, you know, hanging out with all the famous people in, um, in Europe and Germany. I was um, appearing on um, on TV a lot. I got so much positive feedback and attention. We were touring around and everybody thought I'm, I have the coolest life ever and stuff like this. So I was glowing with self-confidence. I was just really, if somebody would have asked me, Christian, do you love yourself? My answer would be yes. It's, you know, uh, I, I just love what I'm doing. I just, I, I was so proud also about what I was doing. So, and then came a time in my life where my relationship um, ended in a nightmare. You know, I was just suddenly feeling all these just terrible feelings inside of myself. And that was the moment where I, for the first time, realized that self-love and self-confidence are two completely different um, things. And um, they don't have anything um, in common with each other. Um, so this is what I, I realized in this moment and I started to um, think about what self-love actually means. And self-love is not how you in general feel about yourself or think about yourself. Because this is determined a lot by what you do and how people react on you. Um, so self-love means that you become 100% independent of the opinion of other people. You become 100% independent of what you do. It is when you close your eyes, when you are alone, when you are away. And it is what in your darkest moments what you think about yourself when everything around you is crumbling and you know shit hits the fan uh, this is a moment where self-love just appears or doesn't appear so think about when you for example love um, your partner you know um, the real love is not measured by your peak experiences or how you know the most beautiful moments how you love yourself it is when you know the shady sides of your partners are present when your partner is jealous annoying angry um, chaotic or whatever it is then the question is do you really able to love your partner the way he or she is you know like in 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 the worst moments and that's the same thing for us you know what do i think about myself in the worst moments of my my life so and self-love means that in these moments you can say yes to your shady sides you can absolutely say yes to you know your difficult traits your anger your depression your silly sides your you know stupidity you know all this kind of mess what we are as human beings that you completely say yes this is who I am and I also love these parts this is self-love and the way to go there there are two things you can work with your actions or you can work with your thoughts. So if you start to change the way how you think about yourself, if you just 100% start to love yourself the way you are, that will trigger a cascade of changes in the way how you live, changes how you interact with people, changes um, your social life and all these kind of things. But on the other hand, it is also that if you start to perform 
positive actions for yourself, if you start to really care for yourself, if you learn to set clear healthy boundaries, if you learn to say no to people, if you learn to not overwork, to not take things so serious, that will have an incredible influence on the way how you accept yourself and how you, um, you like yourself and your thinking will improve from all these positive actions. So action and thought can, you know, positively influence each other and you can work with um, both. So for today Advent's calendar, my gift are two things how you can change your thoughts and two things how you can change your action. So the first thing what you can actively do is you have every week a self-love date with yourself. So you're making a self-love ritual. And what that means is you turn off your phone, you get off social media, you get off TVs and um, whatever can disturb you, um, you light a candle, you take a nice bath, you turn on some nice classical music. For you French people, you can just get some fromage out of the fridge and or some mousse au chocolat. And um, if you want, you can start to do whatever you like, which is really nourishing your soul every single week. So you can give yourself a foot massage. You know, you can, you know, with every senses, you can think about what what will help me. You know, to 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 get better and um, so try to make this ritual the way you like it and the second thing is that um, you every month at least one day you have a no comparison day so um, you take one day where you consciously go through the whole day with the intention of not comparing yourself with other people. So that includes when you walk in the streets and you see um, an advertisement, um, you know, where like a, a super pretty woman or a really ripped guy is on the poster, you don't look. Yeah, so you don't go on social media at all and see all the smiley people having the most amazing time. Um, you just um, get everything out which would lead you to compare yourself with other people. And instead you just really focus consciously of seeing your inner light, seeing that you are the way you are, an absolute perfect expression of life and how things are. So these two things are the actions. The thought um, kind of gifts is that you start to, and you can do that right now, you start to sit down and you make a list what works for me in life. So a lot of times our mind just looks at the things which don't work, which you know need to be improved, stuff like this. Make a list you know, of your positive traits, of the beautiful friendships you have, of what you are capable of doing, the things you have overcome, the um, things you have already developed in your life. And you know, whatever positive comes up for you, um, this is, um, you know, where you, where you go to. And the second thing to change your thought um, process is that you start each day with a thought of love and compassion. So the first thing when you wake up, you make a conscious decision. I want to think about, you know, something which is touching your heart, about yourself or others. You can, you can, you know, start with other people that you just first thing in the morning that you become grateful of your best friend and sending your best friend some loving kindness, some beautiful thoughts, some kind of, you know, way how you, to express how you love this person. Or if you can just work with yourself, that you wake up and you start to develop thoughts of gratitude for yourself, you know, thoughts of compassion for yourself, and try to do that every single morning and maybe even every night before you go to bed. Don't make planning. You know, it's so important for your sleep, um, the things you do last before you go to bed. So these four things try them out and it would be super lovely if you comment um, you know down below what changed for you what experiences you had and um, if this theme is something you would really like we're thinking about next year on patreon making a 21 
um, day self-love challenge for you. So if you think that is a good idea, this is what you would like to see, also comment below. And um, if there are a lot of people commenting on that, this is what's going to happen. So I hope you have the best um, before Christmas time, um, that you just really love yourself as much as we love you. So have a good time and enjoy. Thank you.